So I'm in the process of cutting up my intake and rotating it around and there are a few bumps along the way when you're doing this so check it out here you can see I've got it all reversed there was a cut here and a cut here all the way through so I could essentially just pick this part up off um, but as was pointed out as I observed and as was pointed out on Facebook by Joel Watts um, kind of the thickness on this side and the thickness on this side are slightly different so um, there is a little bit of gap you have to fill this is kind of how I want it to line up right now and so the reason that this is kind of misaligned right here is due to the idle air control valve right here you can see I have this piece of plastic wedge between there and the block and that's about the clearance the minimum clearance that I would be okay with um, on that so basically you have to prop it up a little bit just because of that idle air control valve sitting there and I've specifically made that one to work with my mega squirt with some hardware inside the mega squirt so I'm going to be running that at least for now and that causes this gap that you see right here but it should be noted the bottom is basically almost exactly lined up so you can do that on both sides essentially um, the other thing is I've zip tied this back a little bit because it does bump into here. Um, I think there are some possibilities with this as far as, um, you know, making it work. I think just getting rid of this and only using this one would be fine. So, that, I mean, I don't have um, cruise control right now anyway. So, and then um, I did, you will have to bend the fuel rail a little bit or just make it fit right there between the idle air control valve and so the back looks fine um, there will be another gap right down here as I said on each side um, this lines up okay and so the other like sweet thing that we figured out um, and this was not my idea this is my buddy Jordan came up with this so when you're putting it back together, you essentially have to have it bolted up to um, the engine, right? Because you want, when you're all done with it, when you weld it all up, you want it to fit back on uh, the engine. So you want the right dimensions. And one good way of doing that is bolting it to the engine. So, but Jordan had the brilliant idea of, since I have two intakes, I can flip one upside down. And this is because I have two engines. So I flip one upside down and then bolt this one to the other intake. Therefore, um, when I'm doing the welding, I don't have TIG here, so I'm either doing it myself somewhere else or I'm having somebody do this for me. Um, I don't have to take the entire engine, I just take both intakes, and that's pretty genius to just bolt them together. And I mean, that's probably like 10, 15 pounds of aluminum you're carrying around versus the entire extra EG33 I have here. So that's gonna be a big win, um, you know, overcoming, these few small problems should be not that big of a deal. Um, the other thing is like, you know, the throttle cable routing is going to be a little bit different because essentially it mounts here and you want it to pull this way towards the front of the car is the way that it had been, right? Um, but now the cable is coming from the other direction, so I'll need to work that out. I suppose like some people could do e-throttle or you know you could change this uh, throttle body out completely I'm not really sure I don't want to do that I want to make this as simple as possible just run the stock intake so the other cool idea I had was flipping the intake upside down a little bit they have this uh, this piece here which you could cut off but then you run into a little worse problem on this side with uh, just with the throttle cable set up so that could be an option though, I'm not ruling that out yet, but yep, this is the little spiel on flipping the middle part of my intake. And um, you know, this isn't my original idea, um, 
BRZ Corey there did it um, with his supercharger sitting in the middle and I mean other people have done this before if you look close at some of the high power turbo builds you can see the weld lines like right there with the intake facing forward so that's how I kind of got the idea is just looking at pictures online so yep that's uh, that's my strategy for making my cold side routing really simple just right up here from the intercooler so hope you guys like that and uh, yeah, hope you guys are liking the build.